Bridgerton is back with an all new spinoff on Netflix focusing on Queen Charlotte. So let's see if this new series is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. The young queen's marriage to King George of England ushers in an epic love story and transforms high society. So I thoroughly enjoy the first two seasons of Bridgerton and uh, this new spinoff focuses on Queen Charlotte. Uh, a character that I didn't find to be that interesting in the show, but having a spin-off focused on a younger version of herself does add some depth to this character. We get versions of this character when she was younger and when she in our current timeline for Bridgerton, since this does take place a few weeks after the second season of Bridgerton. So we get a mixture of the younger version and our current version of Queen Charlotte. We also have a younger version of uh, Lady Danbury and her older version as well. So it's just not solely focused on Queen Charlotte. There's other characters that you have seen before and their younger self. And uh, throughout six episodes, I felt like it was mostly rushed. Yes, there is a lot of uh, depth and a new perspective on these characters but when you look at it all and each episode is almost like an hour long it does ultimately feel rushed at times uh, the relationship between King George and Queen Charlotte feels very absent uh, in the beginning of the series we're uh, really looking at this relationship and uh, this quick marriage that they had how they are struggling to connect with each other and we have king george dealing with uh his own personal and mental health as well and queen charlotte trying to find her place in all of this and connect with her husband so the first couple episodes focus solely on that relationship and i think that it was able to have a new look at that marriage and also looking at the current timeline with queen charlotte and having her trying to get her children to be married as well. And then we start to focus more on Lady Danbury and her relationship with her husband and Queen Charlotte becoming like her own person and her own place in the world. And I like some of the the more deeper moments for these characters and the struggles and how they overcome it. And when you look at where they were in the Bridgerton series and how they act, you see how these moments in this spinoff have affected these characters and kind of transformed them into who they are now. And so I like some of that new look at these characters. When you see Queen Charlotte in our current timeline and then something happened to her in the past, you see how it affected all of that. And some of those moments really do work and the acting is really good as well from our younger versions of lady danbury and queen charlotte and how those moments of her the relationships with their husbands especially king george and how she has to get him to even speak to her or be around her and uh her trying to live up to being this queen and also not wanting to be it at all so we see a lot of these struggles that are going on i think a lot of the acting's really good in the series coming from the younger versions of these characters once again it looks really good and we have um, some beautiful moments with its locations and its costume designs i was always impressed with bridgerton and how that series looked and i was impressed with the spinoff as well we also have the narration from julie andrews which makes it feel like it's bridgerton in the beginning of the episode she says dearest readers and so i like seeing some of that connection and there are name drops to other Bridgerton characters, but the connection between this spinoff and the two Bridgerton seasons is very strong. And so I just like seeing some of the younger characters and how their lives were affected by certain situations. But it ultimately does feel rushed. Six episodes, I don't feel that connection between King George and Queen Charlotte. The other two previous seasons, our main characters that fell in love, I felt that chemistry, I felt that love, what they had in those seasons. It was really not there. And 
uh, that forced relationship that they had. At times they were trying to uh, come to a common understanding, but what was going on with King George and his mental state and Queen Charlotte not wanting to be there, you really felt like there was no love there. And at times they were trying to force that relationship and it just was not working. And that allowed though other moments for the characters to grow individually. Lady Danbury and Queen Charlotte, there's a chance for them to grow by themselves without having to be connected to their husband. And so I like seeing uh, a focus more on these characters individually rather than having them be part of this relationship, even though it was there, that it wasn't like the main focus of the show. It was the main focus of these characters, how they can overcome things and become their own person and, and, and their struggles along the way. So Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, felt very rushed at time. I think they could have fleshed out a few more storylines, maybe added a couple more episodes to really strengthen uh, certain scenes. But overall, it looks really good. The connection between this show and Bridgerton is there. It feels like a an, it feels like an appropriate spin-off to have for a character set in the Bridgerton story that I didn't find to be that interesting in the first place, but having a new perspective on this character, a new look at her, gave me a new understanding of this character and what this character has gone through throughout the year. So if you like the first two seasons of Bridgerton, I think you'll find some good things in this season, mostly coming from two characters that were in the show and having just a new look at them and an understanding of these characters. So before I give you my score for Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, a B-. minus. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, the new Bridgerton spinoff on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watch the Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.